What's up guys? Welcome back to another Vampy Lizard video and today we're back in Cities Skylines today and we are going to be working on a small regional airport for our city. Um, this is kind of like the airport that I made in a series long ago. Uh, it's not like an international airport like I usually build in my cities, one giant with many terminals, or even like the recent international airport video that I uploaded. Uh, this is going to be like a small, pretty small airport actually. Um, only one terminal, no large planes, just medium and small planes, and yeah, really not that large, but it should be able to connect this small city, because as the as you know, this city is on the smaller side, and connect it to some more bigger cities out in the world, as well as possibly some small, short, short range international flights. Uh, right now, we're just building out the main terminal, as well as the airplane stands, and now the taxiways. Uh, it's just going to be very simple, as you can see. There's only like. I think less than six or possibly around six gates total possibly seven actually but uh and then we're also adding a small cargo airport which i usually actually don't end up doing but i feel like cargo is going to be pretty important in this city because i do plan on actually building some proper industrial zones in the future as well as currently we do not have any other way of exporting our materials from our industrial zones other than this cargo airport uh, but without that the only things that we actually have is going to be the freeway and that is just not good enough because the capacity is low as well as it just clogs up our road systems and we don't really want that air cargo is the way that is the future for this city at least until we get our cargo harbor which is most likely going to be next episode by the way uh, until we get that under control and well have it exist um, as well, I may hook up some uh, train cargo systems into our industrial zone, but that has not been done quite yet. Then for this airport, we're just going to have two small runways, but they're not going to be separate runways. Um, so they're like a lot of regional airports in the U.S. Um, have these kind of two intersecting runways heading different directions, of course. Um, and this way you can uh, have technically two planes taking off and landing not quite at the same time but you know it can be a lot quicker than if you only had one runway um, as well as for the wind differences you know it's great and now what we got to do is we really got to hook up a road system however there was a little glitch in the river so i was trying to figure out if i could fix this but uh <laughs> it didn't really work out it, it'll get fixed later by itself rivers are strange in this game sometimes Anyways, what we're going to do now is we're going to start hooking up a road system. We have this beautiful interchange right over here. Um, but first, we got to really mess with the railroads. Because as you can see, there's quite a few railroads. And we got two tracks going through um, the airport area. And they really are kind of in the way. So what we're going to do is actually really quite simple. We are just going to well, first off this that's going to be changed later of course <laughs> that is not how it should be um, and now what we're going to be doing is we're going to connecting up not quite a freeway but just a four lane highway um, and this will be connecting from this freeway interchange um, into the city this is how most people with their private vehicles can get into the airport from the city um, of course later on we are going to be adding trains and stuff so that people can get there a little uh, easier and if they don't have a car as well as a shuttle bus system of course we're going to bring that over to the airport now i was trying to keep this really simple um but as you can see in the future it's going to get a bit more complicated now what we're doing is we are just moving these railroad tracks um, my idea was that i just keep them as a tunnel and keep them in the mountain uh, which isn't probably super realistic um, but we don't really uh, need it to be completely realistic this is kind of just like you know sweeping the dirt under the rug we just want to make it so the railway isn't visible um, and we're also going to flatten it just a bit uh, make it look a little better even though you really won't see it and now we can actually work on the roadway
Now, what I was doing initially was I was just going to have a regular one-way road for this airport. Um, however, that is not how we're going to keep it. We're going to add a bus lane because I did decide that it would be smart, I think, to have a bus service connecting the airport. And then for it took me a bit of time to decide where I wanted to put the train station. I really did not want to have to use tunnels or bridges with the trains uh, for this airport like I do everywhere else. However, it's most likely going to have to have some sort of tunnel, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. And now we're just going to add a few small things. Uh, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking no airline headquarters, but I think, uh, you know, uh, airplane museum would be pretty cool to have at some of these small airports which is actually you, it is something that you do see in some airports as well as one small airport hotel this is just you know if you come in late or you have an early morning flight and you don't want to drive or take the train to the airport in the morning or late at night then we have these beautiful airport hotels as well as some parking lots of course every airport needs parking uh, I was initially thinking I had these open air parking lots as well as a parking garage, but I couldn't really decide which parking garage to use as well as you can see because those parking lots, they're messing up the roads and it's really making it hard to place some parking lots. So I added another road, but, and I added that temporarily, but you know, I just didn't feel it. It just wasn't looking that good. And I also removed one airport hotel for the size of this place. Probably one is just enough. And still, yes, the prop line tool is broken for me. I've tried to fix it, uh, and I may try again, because without it, it is really annoying. And right now, we're just going to add some details to the airports, like the roads to access the hangars. These are for, like, your private planes. We're also making it just so that uh, people can't go in there to turn around, you know. Sims really love doing that. It's really annoying. And we're also going to add our own water system just for this airport. We're not going to connect it up to the main grid in the city. I feel like it's more realistic that an airport of this size should be able to and this distance from the city center can provide for itself in terms of water and they're adding some more decoration i'm not sure how much i like these paths i'm using paths just as like roads sort of roads i guess um this may change in the future but for now they are there And then we gotta add a few services like a fire department, a police station, as well as a parking, uh, sorry, recycling. And one thing that I did actually forget to add, which I really do need to add, is gonna be a taxi stand area. Uh, I can't believe I forgot that. That's really quite important, I think. Anyways, we're gonna add this small kind of park hangout area. Um, not sure really what it's gonna be like, but you know, it's it's there for you to hang out, I guess. And then now, finally, we're going to be connecting up this uh, highway to the airport itself. Now this, um, you can see initially the shape is a little strange, but it's going to be a little more complicated than I initially wanted it. Of course, we need to have the way for each side to be able to get around the airport, but I wanted to separate the regular traffic from the cargo airport traffic. Um, so that's going to be a little more complicated than I initially expected. And because we also need the, of course, the fire engines and other trucks and services to be able to get into the cargo airport without having the cargo trucks and vans be able to go through the civilian airport area, you know, just to reduce traffic as well as make it a little more pleasant, I think. Um, and this is what we're going to do right now after I add a small statue. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this, um, but for now, yes, it's going to be there. So we'll smoothen out the road a bit. And now we start this. Uh, now, uh, first off, we need, and we are actually going to have to use an overpass, which unfortunately I did not want to do, as I stated earlier, but there really is just no way. A tunnel would not make sense. It'd be way too expensive to do that. And now we have to add one like that. And at first, this is all I thought I'd need to do. But then I realized that, yes, we do need, uh, first off, the garbage services, as well as the fire and police to be able to get into the cargo airport. 
But right now what we're doing is we're connecting up the airport to the rest of the public transit network, uh, which is for now only trains. Um, I'm gonna add an airport shuttle bus later on, possibly in this episode, but it may be off screen. Um, and yes, unfortunately we are using a tunnel to connect it up. If there's any other way to fix that in the future, then I probably will. And right now we're adding a way to connect for the services to go to Cargo Airport. As you can see, it really is starting to be a bit messier than I would have liked. And now we need another overpass, which is quite unfortunate, but it isn't too bad. It's only two overpasses, really, um, and it could be a lot worse. And hopefully with the amount of usage that this airport gets, it'll actually be worth it. Anyways, we're just connecting up the train system now, and we're pretty much done. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.